In the last video, we installed Inductive Automation's ignition software. Now we need to configure our driver to tell it where this PLC is that it's going to be talking to. If you recall from the last one, I told you that localhost addresses can be something important to remember. And that's where we're going to need to go is localhost colon 8088. And on the left side, let's find that gear that has config beneath it. And go down on the left and find OPC UA device connection. And we're going to click it. And we have a sample device. And this was installed because we clicked yes to install that quick start guide, which gives us a lot of things to kind of give us a head start. But we're going to create a new device. And this is going to be an Allen Bradley Logics driver. And it's going to be that because we are connecting to this Compact Logics, which is a 1769L18. But any of your modern control logics and Compact Logics, that's the driver you'll use. Now, if you have an older firmware, pay attention there because there is also a legacy driver. And there's your MicroLogics, your PLC5s, your Slicks. I mean, they just have a really comprehensive list. But we're going to go down and click Next. And we're going to give it a name. And in my case, this is Station 9 at our training center. And then we have a host name, and this is the IP address of it typically. If you're using one of our trainers, its default IP address is going to be 192.168.110. And there's some other options here, but for your standard connections, none of them are necessary. We're just going to click Create Device, and we can tell that it's working because it says Connected here. If I unplug my Compact Logix PLC, then it's going to switch to Idle. So yours, if it does not say connected there, then check your IP address and the driver type that you selected. Now we're ready to create our first screen with a few buttons and some analog indicators. Also, I know some of you are not running the Compact Logics. You're running older versions, you're running MicroLogic, Slicks, things like that. And so I've created this playlist that not only includes that first screen, but also some driver configurations to help you out. 